Welcome from the future. Or the past, I guess. So welcome to the future. Doesn't sound as dramatic. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So hello, welcome to the nether. That's the portal to my little big dig area. And I came over here a while ago to pick up some, some ice from the ice farm and I noticed something kind of funny. It's raining here on the modified Taiga Island. And of course I've got pooches that I've tamed, but look at that, that's a wolf. And I've been going, there's another one. By by going through here and, and like killing off all of the mobs. Is there is this a dark area? Yeah, maybe. Look at this, wolves all over the place. Hi buddies, how are you? They're not too interested in me. I don't have any bones for you. And I don't need more tame dogs. Look, there's wolves everywhere. By killing off all the other mobs, like, oh, hey hello, Mr. Chicken. Ooh, I just got a chicken head. Oh, let's put that on. The chicken heads are funny. Ah! Ah, that's funny. Okay. So by killing off all the other the mobs, then increase each time that a new mob spawns, it might be a, a wolf, and I don't kill off the wolf. But why am I hearing zombies? Is there a cave down here? Not here. There's gotta be a cave here somewhere. There's a cave over here, right? Oh, he's loud. Anyway. There's a zombie here somewhere. I hear him. Anyway. So I think that's I think that's funny. So this is like Isle of Dogs. It's just a bunch of dogs here. Not much else. And they kill any sheep that spawn. Just because that's what they do. And if I kill all the pigs and cows and and chickens and whatnot, then there's not much else here for them. So this is like a little protected isle island for the dogs. Uh, one thing I have done is I noticed that the the actual biome extends out into the water in a few places. So I started replacing bits where there were sand that was still like if I pull up F3 here. So we're in the taiga biome here, right? And I step on here, and now we're on beach, and that's fine. But there were spots where the sand started before the beach because of the biome blending. So I replaced all the blocks that were part of the taiga and next to the beach. Uh, and then also spots that would go out into the water. So like this is beach, but this one block right here is taiga, and this is beach. Uh, so this this was just water. So the, the, the taiga biome extends out into the, the water a little bit. Also because of the biome blending. Uh, so I started filling out, putting in landfill essentially to fill out and maximize the spawnable area in the taiga island. Whoa! Um, that wolf just killed something. I bet, a, I bet a sheep just spawned there. Wait, what's up there? There's another wolf. I saw little death particles. Yep, look at that. There's some wool and some... <laughs> Some uh, mutton. Okay. So we had a little sheep spot and this wolf was on top of it. Interesting. So there you go. I thought that was funny. Uh, anyway, I said welcome from the future. And that didn't really work right. It's I already have like an episode. The episode that I'm going to release on Monday I've already got recorded. So I'll have to edit it. But recorded at the same time as the previous episode. And <clears throat> that's because I was trying to get a little bit of head because ne next week um, is Maker Fair, and I need to I need to be ready because I won't be able to record anything while I'm at Maker Fair. And Maker Fair's the oh hello Mr. Creeper. There must be a dark spot over there. Oops. Let's see if I can aim straight. There we go. So, I I will be at Maker Fair, 
and I need to have some oops I need to have a video prepared to go up the Monday after Maker Fair and I won't have time next weekend while I'm up in the Bay Area to, to record that so so this is this is I'm um, time traveling a little bit but not in a dramatic direction uh, just in a normal direction I guess um, today is uh, the day I'm recording this is Mother's Day so I hope everybody who has a mother to call calls their mother um, and and or thinks of them fondly at least or thinks of them at all um, and yeah so there you go happy Mother's Day <laughs> even though when you watch this it will be like two weeks past Mother's Day okay one more thing to show you along the same vein as the Isle of Dogs. Hello, Thanatos. So here we are, the Witch Farm Complex, which hasn't changed too much, I don't think. I've got the fishing area over here. I've got the carrot farm over there with a fortune axe. That thing turns out a ton of carrots. Um, and then the fishing area, I've gotten a bunch of stuff from fishing. I've got the puffer fish, which is the whole point. A bunch of saddles, miscellaneous stuff, some interesting books, some of which I've already used. So I created a new fishing pole. Um, with, uh, didn't need to tr do too much villager trading to get it. So yeah. Um, but one thing I did, I, I modified the, the rabbits over here a little bit. And this is kind of fascinating to see. Let's see if they're doing it. Yeah, they are. Interesting. Hello, rabbits. They're all doing this like Blair Witch thing where they're all at that side of the of the pen trying to go over this way. I don't know if it's... Do they know? Is there like a wolf down there that they're trying to get away from? Because wolves will kill it. But look at this. This is like really weird and creepy. Let me grab some carrots because one thing I love about this is if I have carrots in my hand I jump in hi buddies look at this <laughs> it's a rapid wave oh. uh, I notice I've been breeding I started out with two of these golden sand rabbits and now I've got like black ones and brown ones and I've got little stripy ones so I've got a few different varieties. And re of course the reason I've got so many rabbits is because I want to be able to do this. And get rabbit's feet. For the potions, of course. So I've got a few things here. Boop, got a few rabbit's feet. I got a new rabbit head. I don't remember if in this, in this version of the the more rab the more mob heads um, plugin that I've got and I'm using. If there's more than one type of rabbit head, but I always seem to get those stripy ones. So I'm going to I don't, I'm not gonna subject you to see this too much. <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm gonna thin out the rabbits a little bit and then let's breed them. And oh look at that oh goodness, I got a bunch of rabbit heads in that swipe. Interesting. Okay, hang on a second. I'll be right back. So I've got a bunch of rabbit's feet now, and also a ton of hide and rabbit. And, yeah, anyway, um, so now that we've thinned out the crowd a little bit, let's uh, let's go feed them because I I think this is incredibly funny. So I can easily I have over a hundred rabbits here still, so it won't be. Difficult to get rid of an entire stack of carrots to feed them and make more baby rabbits. This isn't a bad source of uh, experience either. There we go. Oh, well, there was some rabbit hide I hadn't picked up. So there you go. More baby rabbits. The baby rabbits are super cute. Although they're harder to see like that. Hi, buddy. Uh, they're harder to tell. Than they used to be, uh, because they uh, they reduced the size of the rabbit model. 
Anyway, there we go. Um, I raised up the fence around the outside because uh, the, the rabbits are actually able to jump over the fence. But uh, they don't do it too often. So I keep them inside mostly, which is sufficient. But yeah, rabbit's feet. So I'm I'm thinking I want to like look into designs for a rabbit farm where I sort of, you know, shove them up into a contraption of some sort. And then I come and feed them and only the babies fall down below and then I kill the babies after they grow up. Uh, which is a little mean, but you know, whatever. Uh, I need rabbit's feet. Uh, the the witch farm is doing well. I don't know if we have anything coming up at the moment, but uh, we got like, you know, what's that 11 boxes of, of most of the items. 10 of glowstone. So things are going pretty well here. And I need to fill up some of the the shulker box loaders of course a lot of sticks which uh, I don't need the sticks but I might turn them into fuel for the furnace or something so I need to add more and get more sticks over here I need to add more uh, boxes into some of these uh, just so that we have plenty of shulker boxes for the loot that we're getting out of the out of the the witch farm which is pretty cool Let's see anything coming up there. Fishing isn't a bad source of XP either. Oh, what did I get there? A lure to fishing rod. Interesting. So yeah, you can build you can build yourself with these fishing rods. Lure three Luck of C3, Unbreaking 3, like that could combine these two and add mending to it and then kind of a perfect fishing rod. Oh, Curse of Vanishing, very excited. Anyway, so that is pretty much, oh, oops, no, 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 I, I need this. Uh, pretty much all I had to show you here get a lot of saddles out of the the fishing and I don't really need them um, oh but I know what we can do with them huh. so VexFX built this surplus center and uh, donation rules I don't actually remember what the donation rules were so let's see donations are to be left in the chest you removed items oh okay whatever Ice cream sandwich. Oh, so we've got armor. Yeah. Armor. Saddles. Oh. <laughs> There's not room for saddles. Uh, is there a surplus surplus area? Mm-hmm. Well, we could. Let's see. Bows. Okay. I could donate some of the bows that I'm getting out of the fishing farm. Rods, same same situation. All right, cactus. Yeah, I've got more cactus than this. So let's go stash these in here, and we'll make ourselves a secondary little saddle donation chest, and we will maybe. Maybe make a, a shulker box and, and build up a, a saddle shulker box. And come on. Take a little flight. There we go. Oh, two more things to show you. I was told that there's a don oh maybe this is it. That there was a donkey in the amusement park area or in, near it that was named donkey which is i think no it's not you uh i named a donkey donkey because it was kind of a silly i could put some of the saddles out here a silly shrek joke um and eric Hall said that there was a donkey named donkey somewhere by the entrance to the amusement uh park area yeah okay I don't see it though I was and if and if it is the one that I named Don 
that's not a cow up in the air, is there? No. No, of course not. Why would there be? This is the fountain area. It's a daylight sensor fountain. Okay. Uh, if it was the one that I named Donkey, it would have traveled an awful long distance because it should be back over in the spawn area. So unless somebody rode Donkey all the way over here. Okay, so this is the racetrack. I think over here was another another little amusement park ride that they were working on. Yeah, I think this is a dunk tank. And, oh, okay. No, I don't think those are necessarily stairs. So somebody stands here and then the person trying to shoot, trying to dunk them, shoot the app, shoots the arrow at the target and then it opens the trap door and the person gets dunked. How does, oh, and then they just swim out. The problem is that the, you have to kind of have to wait for the arrow to despawn for it to reset the whole thing, which is a little annoying. Anyway, that's cute. Okay, I'm going to wait for the arrow to despawn because it's kind of obnoxious to leave an arrow in there and then leave the area. Um, one last thing to, to check on before we call it a day. Lama la la lama. So we have an aisle of dogs, a platform of rabbits, and a, and a hallway of llamas. Okay. Uh, so you may notice, or may have not noticed, uh, that the clacky clean keyboard is no longer being used. Um, it's a little bit, I, I don't think it was that bad on the sound, but it may have been a little annoying. And if you found it annoying, I apologize. Um, the problem is the layout of the keyboard is a little bit just goofy and it actually ended up kind of hurting my wrist, which is not good. It's a bad sign from a ergonomic standpoint. So I, I don't know. Um, uh, so yeah, my, my wrist hurt for, for a while after the last recording, which was not good. But look at this. There's, there's iron golems here. There's 58 of them. They kind of plateaued a little bit at around 40, not 8, 49. Yeah, this is, this is kind of ridiculous. I've been letting it go just to see how far they'll go, but I don't, this is getting, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, and since it is obviously a bug, I don't mind cheating a little bit to get rid of all of the, um, Sorry, I'm paying attention here because using the kill command is always a little bit risky. Villager Golem. Whew! Goodness gracious. How much iron is this going to result in? I haven't done anything with the villagers in here for a while. Yeah, there's a little bit of iron there. Um, I haven't done anything with the villagers in a while, so they're all pretty much have their pockets full of potatoes. So I'm not, uh, so they aren't farming. But all, all the villagers are here. It's not on this side. But you can hear them. There are villagers here. Uh, and they are doing their thing. Are they all over here? Oh, Hi. They're all in here, okay. Uh, I, I should start going through and calling them a little bit. Uh, but I'm waiting for 1.13 because there's new enchantments, so we will need new villagers for the villager trading area, if that's what we're calling it. How much iron blocks does that get me? 25. Okay. That'll work. And then more flowers that I know what to do with there we go all right well thank you for watching this is Theron it's been Minecraft land party and I will see you next time all right bye